Welcome to the next part. Finally, after a month, by the way, of being lazy and not really sure how to show this off. So, welcome to Boatless. So, this will be the first part of Boatless. It might be two or th it'll probably be three parts, I think, of Boatless. So, we ended here. We just opened the gate. So, what do we do here? So, now, a lot of Boatless is, you know, smoothly transitioning between all the strats. So, it's kind of hard to, you know, show all strats individually. But what you can do is you can slow the video down for stuff I do. And I'll show the hard strat first and show all the, you know, baby or strats that you can do. So what I like to do here is, after this gate's open, I circle strafe off. Do a couple back hops, turn into an ASH, then go into an AFH. And if I don't hit that, you want to just keep going here. I sort of slope off that with a lot of speed. Then AFH here, bounce off here. If I go too high, that's annoying. I just go over here like that. A lot of boat lists is just going to be improv, and then you slope off that. Now, probably can't really do that that smoothly, even though it's kind of bad from me. <laughs> so, could been better. What I recommend doing is just going down right here. Now, this is where you have to really get your ASH timing down. We're standing ASH. Now, let me just quickly remind you, standing ASH. So standing ASH, you want to hold plus walk, which is bound to alt on my keyboard, and it's bound to that by default. What that'll do is that'll give you more acceleration. And another thing as well, to make sure you're not going to lose too much speed, is, is not really press the ASH keys until just before you land, like that, when you start doing it, otherwise you're going to lose a lot. So I recommend standing here, do standing ASH. And then if you can, try to AFH through that. But if you can't, just, you know, get over here. And then, you know, do more standing ASHs. So, here, you want to land in the middle. Once you get down here. And what you can actually do, is you can maybe stop here, maybe ABH, and line yourself up visually with the center of the tunnel to land here like that. And you can actually, you know, keep this velocity here and then go into this wall. Like that, and it'll actually bounce you over here pretty fast. So once you're here, we need to get to the next map. So this skip is relatively easy. I'll just say hi to G-Man. So more standing ASHs. So just go here. Standing ASH, turn to the right a bit, and soap off that. So you wanna you wanna make sure you don't hit the wall. Don't hit this cliff side, you know, going too straight into it, or otherwise you'll go straight up like that, like up like that. If I can show it off here. Yeah, you don't want to go straight up like that. If you have a lot of HP here and you land, then it, that's actually fine. Because then you can just go across like that. Like if you go up there with low speed, you can do that. It can be fine. But you really want to make sure you're hitting at more of an angle. Let me go back here. You want to really be sure to hit it at an angle like that, so you go over here. What you're going to do is you're going to land in this trigger, and you don't want to land too high, but actually it doesn't really matter. I'm going to tell you to stay delete no matter what. So You just want to hit that trigger into this level. And now this is where you have a couple route options here. Several route options. And this is where it gets kind of complex, so... What we typically do in runs is we actually get a new uh, quick clip set up here. Like to get Yes Clip and a you know, quick clip or whatever to clip with props fast. Um, first of all, we save delete, which you're going to do anyway because you're probably kind of low on HP. Then what we're going to do is this is this specific. So you're going to look at your seal show pause at the top right. And you want this value to be 8 to 20. And then there's a unique mechanic with the airboat, is if you save load while it's moving, it'll instantly stop. So we're actually going to utilize that to get it exactly where we want it. So we want it between 8.215 and 8.225, around there. Like, within that range. There we go, 8.218 is good. You're going to exit, and then then we're going to go backwards, back into this level. Now you gotta be you got to be careful with this for your live split, because this will split... Uh, canals 07 
automatically, which is kind of annoying. So you're going to have to either undo the split or, you know, live with it and have a really long Canal 08 split. Otherwise, just go into it. And then now you're going to go over here. Now, this, you got to be careful here. You want to teleport past this trigger, and how we're going to do that is we're going to enter our airboat. If it's in the right spot, you'll just enter it. So you don't want to get too close. It's actually not too hard to do without seeing that. Just, you know, walk up close to it, but not too close, and just keep pressing E until you get in it. So now we're past the trigger. Now let me go over how this quick clip works. So if you know what quick clip is, I'll, I'll, sh I'll be showing off the other quick clip is place we can do it. But what happens here is uh, if you see this really long trigger that goes from there to there. That's the trigger that uh, is going to make stuff transition between levels, including the airboat. I can actually show this off here. If I move the airboat outside of it, you know, go go into the forward level. It disappears. So the idea for this is we're going to exit the airboat, enter this trigger while the airboat is outside of it. And that'll give us yes clip, which is no clip, actually. And it'll also give us the quick clip glitch. Let's see. Get out of no clip. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to back the boat up, up the slope, and then we're going to do a precise sort of series of inputs to exit into this. So... As there's actually apparently an easy setup, but I cannot do it for the life of me because I'm bad. I have no clue what's wrong with me. But yeah, you're just going to back up and do it. So what you do is you back up, and on the apex of your... You turn, you... Well, let me load back, that back. You're going to save load. You're going to save load, and then you're going to exit at, like, half a second later. I literally can't do it. I don't know what's wrong with me. But, like I said, I, I can't do that, but you might be able to, because apparently it's a baby easy. I'm just bad. I don't know what's wrong with me. But, yeah, you save load. You, like, you turn to the right and press E, like, half a second after. But... What I do is I just reverse into it, and then as soon as I start going up the slope, I release S, tap A, and press E in a precise series of inputs. It should exit the airboat the correct way. So it should look something like this if I'm not turning the wrong way. So you sort of go up like this. I missed a edit too late. There we go. Like that. And now you can see I'm in no clip from that. So, if you do this route, the only reason you would do this route is to skip this map, because this movement, this map is pretty hard movement-wise. So it is kind, it is, it can be kind of recommended as a baby strat to do the no clip to skip this level. But if if you're doing it, if you're a baby to skip this level, you don't have to go into that room for HP and just go straight over here, or HP or supplies rather. What you're gonna do is you're gonna come over here. I'll turn triggers off. If if you're not gonna if you're not a baby and you're learning this route, what you're gonna do is you're gonna come over here. And you're gonna go here. There's an SMG nade on top of this. It's very tiny and it likes to roll to left to the right in RNG, but you kinda wanna like try and grab it and then smoothly come down here and grab this. And you're gonna go over here through the wall and grab these two things. And then finally we're gonna go over here to the barnacle and get stuck. Now, what I'm actually doing here for movement is I'm looking slightly to the left and holding W and tapping Dean. That gives me a little bit of extra speed. Now, if you have, like, carpal tunnel or something, I recommend not doing that, but, yeah. You come over here, you get stuck by the barnacle, and now we're in the quick clipping state. So now we can uh, clip through walls. I'll go ahead and show that off real quick somewhere if I can. I should be able to show it off back here. Grab a box. Go to this door over here. Give me a second. You know what? We're just gonna like no clip. Yeah. And you can now go through walls like that. Pretty precise, but that that's how if you're wondering how we go through walls in the speed run, that's how is from that no clip stuff. But yeah, back again, once you get over back over here, and get back over there. You're going to do this movement. So once you're here, 
More standing ASH. The reason I, t I tell you to do standing is because this water. If you're doing crouched, you're going to instantly shark, like, very easily. If you try to jump and you won't be able to get hops. So that's why I, in boat list, I tell you to do standing ASH most of the time instead of crouched. Because otherwise you won't be able to jump in the water as easily. So, standing ASH. Go over here. And sort of bounce off that slope. If you can't if you can't bounce off that slope, it's fine. You can just sort of stop here. And, you know, go this way. Go this way up this ramp. Now don't be don't be afraid of bullets now because they can't shoot you. So you, you can go and bounce off that slope to the end of the level. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna you know land in the water over here. And try and try your best to bounce over this. It can be pretty hard. Just try your best to make your way over here. And then what I recommend doing is slope off this, slope off this, and then. Uh, Hopefully, if you get a shallow launch, you can sort of bounce off that wall, and hopefully under there. To go into the next level. But, this is where we go back over the normal route here. If you don't do that no clip, instead you just do the save delete. You have a few options here. So the few options you have here are to do this pretty cool movement. You can slope off of that. And then bounce over this gate. Now, if you you're gonna have to watch the video in slow motion on how I do this, but one thing to look out for is that I sort of crouch when I go to hit the slope, and what that crouch does is that it makes it so I have a lower chance of getting stopped by nothing, because the game likes to stop you if you're moving too fast up like weird, weirdly shaped geometry like this. So that crouch helps prevent it, and then you do it like this. You don't want to hit the slope at too much. You just want it just enough to sort of give you a floaty launch. It's kind of hard to explain. If you practice it enough, you'll get it. And that'll get you over that gate. But if you can't do that, you have another option, which is to come over here. And what you can do here is you can just, you know, you can ASH backwards up there, and then there's this clip brush. And since you have full HP, you can tank all the fall damage from that, from the save deletion. So you're just going to Standing AS ABH and get up there like that. And now you gotta kind of learn where the where it is. It's pretty big, so it's not too hard to fall off. So, and then yeah, you do that to, like get over the gate if you, if you're not bad like me, because apparently I'm Omega Trash <laughs> from what you just saw there. Yeah, let's try that again. There we go, like that. Just gotta turn to the right to get over here. Now, lastly, lastly, the last strat you can do here to get past this gate is if you can do neither of those, you're gonna come over here and you go to where this wall is right here, and you're gonna zoom in. As you can see, you can see this barrel. It's very small, but if you zoom in, you can see it. You can put your crosshair on it and just shoot it with a pistol a few times until it blows up, like that. And you're just going to make your way through the gate. So, once you're here, if you actually do that strat and you fly over the gate really fast, what you can do is you can actually keep your momentum and sprint and slope off this. But if not, you can just come, just land here and then just do some crouched AVHs. I recommend doing it crouched here because there's not much water. And the crouch will actually make that slope give you more height, which is what we kind of want for the normal routing of this map. Okay, I just slope. That was interesting. So this can be kind of precise to get through here, which is why I recommend AFH in the last couple, because the AFH will make sure you don't like deviate too far to the right, which is what ASH tends to do. It's like kind of bounce you too far to the left and right. So if you can, a uh, AFH there. If you can't, just try to ASH through it. If not, if you can't do that, then it's fine. Just keep going. So if you do this, you can slope off here to avoid fall damage, which you got to be kind of careful about, because sometimes it will take fall damage. It can be kind of precise. But if you don't get enough height for that, you can just, you know, land anywhere down there and just, you know, sort of make your way over through here. 
This is just the faster route. I'm showing off here. Then what you can do is you can bounce off that to get over here. This is just this is just like you know all the, all the sort of smooth movement I was talking about. But if you can't do that, if you remember before what I had sort of did at the end of the no clip section, you pretty much do the same thing at the end from this point on. Remind you that you can now, now take bullet damage if you do this route. Sort of can't fetch over that. A reminder that water will cancel all fall damage. Just a quick little note there. Then you're going to go into this map. So now we're finally done with that map where there's different routes. This map is pretty easy, luckily, as far as the routing goes. If, if you're, like, actually, like, really low on HP here, you can save delete. But uh, you shouldn't be too low on HP. You should be fine. And if you did the no clip route, if you're at a 100 HP still, uh, try to make sure not to lose too much HP in this map. It'll be important for the next map. So once you get into this map, what I recommend doing is go along here. Now, even if you're at fast speed, you can go along here with low speed or slow yourself down. And what we're going to do is we're going to ASH along this water line. Like that. And sort of bounce off of that. And that'll get you over all this garbage that's right here. But if you're too fast, you'll probably you might end up landing up here, which is you know fine, whatever, unlucky, you know. So there you go. That's that's what you really want is you can do that. If not, you know you can just come here and then just you know go along there. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna shark. And what sharking is is uh, you're just gonna hold the space. And as you can see, you're sort of gliding along the top of the water. So if you're at like a lot of speed, you'll sort of keep that speed for a bit and very slowly slow down. And you're just going to do that to get across without losing speed. So once you're here, like before, like just a second ago, we're going to go along the water line here. And now this is where you can do some really cool strats. So you can do that and then AFH and then AFH again to get over here like that to get past that gate. But if not... If you can't really do that, if let's say you just barely make it over here by, like, it was really hard or whatever. What you can do is you can sort of stop right here where this, like, opening the ceiling in here. This low pillar here. Is the easy setup for this. Also, the trigger to close the gate is right there, so just a little note on that. So this is the easy setup for this. So what you're going to do is you're going to do stand here. You're going to do three ASHs and then turn around and do two ABHs. So, and you're also going to stand and do plus the walk ABHs. Also, as a note, I actually did that kind of bad, but I still kind of got it. And you're just going to make it through the gate there. One, two, three. Actually, I was kind of I missed time to hop there. One, two, three. One, two, like that. And if you want, you can bounce off that, because if you just go straight across the water there, it sometimes won't uncrouch you when you go to stand up. And you also got to be crouching because there's a little thing under the water. But yeah, once you're here, pass the gate safely. You're just going to ASH and bounce off here, and then just sort of keep going. Preferably not take fall damage, especially if you came from the... Uh, other map from with a no clip uh, strat. You're gonna try your best to turn and slope off that, and then sort of slope off that, or land in the water or the goo on this in the tunnel there. But if not, you know whatever. If you if you cannot get around this corner, like with a lot of speed or whatever, you're gonna use another shake and you can sort of bounce off that. If you get like a low launch. Just don't be afraid to, you know, baby it up. And, you know, go around. Just just remember that, you know, doing, you know, going through like the casual area, such as like a small area like this is like perfectly valid. Like, I'd, ra I'd rather people, you know, go around through here than waste their time on a, a strat that's too hard for them. And then you're just gonna go through the tunnel. So you kind of want to like s sort of try to stick to the sides of the tunnel into the next level. 
not take too much damage. And if you, and if you uh, did the no clip strat, with intent on not doing uh, the no clip strat a second time, you need to keep as much as HP as possible into this map. You preferably want to have above like 85 for the most part, so you won't have to say delete on the next map. But yeah, this is where this part's going to end. Is this map? Now this map. Coming up, it will be probably one of the roadblocks if you refuse to take the airboat on it, but I'm going to tell you to take the airboat. But that'll be on the next part, which hopefully won't take another month, so I'll see you then.